Hmm, I don't know how to start this video. Um, I've been well. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video because I've been so well. Um, I've recently had a bone marrow biopsy last week and I had another one back in like January. Um, but today is not a happy video, I'm afraid. Um, because I went to hospital yesterday expecting to get my third uh, top up of donor lymphocytes but instead I was told that they found some leukemia in my last bone marrow biopsy which is uh, really quite unfortunate news actually um, and very disappointing as well at this late stage in the uh, recovery process you know my immune system was coming up on halfway last time it was checked so uh, it's a real uh, a real kick in the teeth to have um, something come up like this. So what they found uh, was 7% leukemia cells in the last bone marrow biopsy, uh, which to give some sort of comparison, I think I was at above 90% when I first got diagnosed with uh, leukemia. So, you know, just to give us a bit of perspective as what we're dealing with here. So 7%. Um, which uh, does have to be classed as a relapse, I'm afraid. Um, so, where do we go from here? As you can see, I'm still at home after receiving this news. I'm currently waiting to receive a call from the hospital. Um, right now, they're getting some tests back to determine what the best course of action will be you know, which uh, type of chemotherapy to put me on to get rid of this new leukemia that's popped up. The choices, uh, as it seems to stand so far, are uh, good old-fashioned full-blown chemotherapy like I've had in the past. Could be a little bit of a different cocktail, but would work in the same sort of way. Or a more targeted form of chemotherapy, which... I could take as an outpatient, so I wouldn't have to stay in hospital for that. Um, and that is like an oral medicine, from what I've uh, from what I've heard. The catch with the targeted chemotherapy, however, although it sounds like a much more desirable option, is that it only works, from what I can understand, on AML leukemia. And of course, the form of leukemia that I had was biphenotypic, meaning that it uh, demonstrates characteristics of both AML and ALL leukemia. So we're unsure whether this targeted AML chemotherapy will be effective against the 7% that's come back. So they're testing for that today. I'm expecting to get a call and uh, everything is crossed, fingers and toes so that we uh, get a good outcome, really. What else does the future hold? Uh, I've been wondering to myself, will they give me another Hickman line? Perhaps a pick line, one of those that goes in your arm, I believe. Because if I were to have a third Hickman line, that would hurt, like a lot. Because the second one I had killed when it was being put in, so a third is only going to be much worse. So it'll be interesting to see how they go about that. Um, that's if I'm to be an inpatient for this next round of chemotherapy anyway. So hopefully that works, and then if it does, we'll get back on the lymphocyte top-ups. We'll probably have to start from square one as far as the uh, immune system goes. But I will um, give you all more information as I receive it. So as you can imagine, yesterday was a bit of a shocker of a day. However, I did treat myself a little bit just to, it was a bit of a pick-me-up. I'll show you what I got here. Do -do -do. Bought myself a, uh, a Nintendo Switch and a couple of games with it as well. There we go. That's what we've uh, got for the Switch currently. Uh, now I did that because the Wi-Fi in the hospital, uh, as great as all the services are there, 
the Wi-Fi doesn't connect to my Xbox very well because it's the kind that you need to go online and like click accept or something like that as opposed to just putting a password in and that doesn't work very well with Xboxes but with a Switch I don't need a Wi-Fi connection to play games so I thought that'd be perfect uh, pass the time while I'm in hospital can't wait to get started almost almost so that's that sorry my latest video back in such a long time has had to be such a negative one but it was very necessary to make this and to let you all know so let's start this new journey together round two let's get this bread right thank you for watching be sure to check in in the following few days see how it goes